Hi there, welcome back. Still to come, former Doctor Who star Karen Gillan's here, for Ooh. goodness sake. I know, give yourself a whoop. <laughs> We're going to chat to her in a moment, but first, you could win £60,000 in this week's prize draw. Here's Andy Peters with all the details. What would you do if you won £60,000 this year? The choices are endless. Pay off some bills, take a holiday, upgrade your car, hit the shops. They all sound pretty good. It really is enough money to have a good time and add a little bit of glamour to your life. I mean, you could even come shopping here. All the stars love this place. And the winner of this competition could be doing just that with a cash windfall of £60,000. So what would you two do with £60,000, Brangelina? Oh, you want my number, Dane? Yeah, pop it down. You know it makes sense, sister. So, there you have it, straight from the lips of Hollywood's hottest couple. So, all you've got to do now is pick up the phone and enter our competition, and you could be in with a chance of winning £60,000. That's their kind of money. Text the word CASH to 8223. Call 090 4161 911. Texts cost £1.50 plus one standard network rate message. Calls cost no more than £1.54 from BT landlines. Other networks may be higher and mobiles considerably more. Or enter for free at ITV.com. Entrance must be 18 or over. Entries made after lines close at midday on Friday the 25th of July will not be counted but may still be charged. Good luck. Good luck with that. Now, my next guest is best known for playing the Doctor Who adventure-seeking companion, Amy Pond. We love her in Doctor Who. And just two years after leaving the show, Karen Gillan is busy making movies now and TV shows in Hollywood. She shaved her head for her latest sci-fi role, I know, playing a blue-skinned, deadly assassin called Nebula. I'm going to chat to her about it in a moment, but let's take a look at Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Karen is here. That is some action. That None of that is a stunt double. No, all you. That's a lie. All you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Doctor Who, you were always on the side of good. This time, you were a proper baddie. Was that quite a giggle? It was really fun. I've never played a sort of bad character who's gone to the dark side, so that was a really fun thing for me to explore. Now, when I heard you shaved your head, I let out a, an audible, no! <laughs> and it's not even my hair, because your hair was so gorgeous and long and oh, thick. Thanks. Um, what did you feel like having to shave it all off? It was really look weird. Oh, my God, look at that! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? Um, yeah, that was a really weird experience. Um, but also, you know what? It was weirdly liberating. And, really? Um, and fun and interesting as a social experiment, just to see how differently people treated me. And did they treat you differently? Um, yeah, I think people were pretty intimidated by me. And yeah. I really, I kind of liked it while I was playing the role. Yeah, it made you feel like a real baddie yeah. as you walked around. and it's never happened to me before, so... <laughs> <laughs> Are you growing it now? Yes. OK. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a, it's a great fun movie, this. You're blue. Yes, with, no blue, hair. with no hair. I mean, you look very different. Was that a deliberate attempt, in a way, to sort of break away after the success of, of being Amy Pond in Doctor Who? Um, not really. It wasn't that thought out, actually. I think that the whole thing was designed and she was already established in comic books with this right. look. So, um, so I didn't really have much input in that sense. I was just put into the prosthetics in the morning. OK, for four hours. Yeah, it was, it was like around four or five hours. Yeah, my goodness. But it, you really wanted the role. I mean, the decision to do something so different. Because you, you even shaved your head, didn't you, before you got it? Um, yeah, so I had to definitely agree to shave my head before I could even audition for the role. Um, but that was something I was really up for doing because um, I just think it's amazing. <laughs> I think everybody should do it once in their life. Yeah. Would you now, ever do it? I, d I don't... I think I'd look a little bit insane if I had <laughs> shaved my head. I treat my so. hair as a sort of a, a safety blanket. I'd you know be... what? Me too. I really? realised that I did that after it was gone. I was like, ah, oh, there's no sort of hiding curtains. <laughs> <laughs> now, you had a great cast in this, haven't you? There's all yeah. sorts of people, you know, Glenn Close, Manisha Del Toro and Bradley Cooper. Yes. Who, you must have been a little bit annoyed you didn't actually get to play alongside because he's a voice, isn't I he? I know, he's a voice that they put on after everything was shot. So, um, <laughs> so no, I didn't really get to work with him, which is a shame. But you've met him. Yeah, I met him at the premiere in LA, Great. and that was exciting. <laughs> well, that was. Now, 
Yeah. yeah, I mean, he's really going for it. He's a great character in the movie. I, I want to give you this present. A present? I know you've <gasps> had Lego people of yourself as Doctor Who. But this but is... this is you <laughs> in your new role. I've been told to keep it still. Sorry, I'm waggling it about. There Look we go. Look at that thing. Um, I'll give it to you now, though. There we oh, go. You, you can so have it now. Much. It, there's you with. You can look at that every day and remind yeah, yourself if you're showing I'm going to put this on my wall. You've got the premiere tonight. Yes. Have you got the outfit sorted for the UK premiere and all of that? I do. I'm going to wear an outfit by Louis Vuitton. I'm very excited about it. Wow. And maybe I'll just clip this to it as well. Yeah, you could have that as a little brooch. I think that I come across as really cool if I, I did like that. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> so Doctor Who is all gone now, isn't it, for you? And yeah. Hugely sad my children are at that. Oh. But have you had... They, they love this particular era of Doctor Who. Have you had a chance to see Peter Capaldi in the new Doctor Who yet? Or? Um, so I've seen the trailers like everybody else. Yeah. I'm hugely excited. But I was actually there when he came onto set for the first time yeah. um, because I was there for Matt Smith's regeneration. So, and it was really weird because it was literally one in, one out. Matt Smith left the studio and then Peter Capaldi walked in wow. and I was like, oh, it's him. <laughs> Do you think <laughs> he's going to be any good? I think he's going to be really good. I mean, he's an amazing actor. Yeah. I just, um, yeah, I think he's going to do an amazing job. Yeah. And you're so busy at the moment because you're in this uh, US TV sitcom called Selfie, aren't you? Yeah, we're about to start that, yeah, for ABC. Um, and it's a comedy about a really narcissistic, self-obsessed girl. And you've got an American actor. Let's listen to it, actually. Go on, let's just listen. I was Insta-famous. <laughs> I'd spent years laughing at stupid idiots on the internet. Yeah, that's a good American accent. How did you get that? Oh, well, thanks. Um, <laughs> I took classes, dialect lessons, did and you? I listened to a lot of voices on American TV. And didn't you go to some fitness classes Yeah, as well? I went to this um, spinning class in LA, and it is full of girls that sound like that. So <laughs> I was like, this is perfect. I'm just going to absorb this while getting fit. Yeah, well, life is obviously going really, really well. Oh, Career thanks. going brilliantly. <laughs> Good luck with the premiere tonight. Thanks very much. And go and see it. It's great fun. It's a lot of laughs as well, actually, yeah, as well it's as very action. Funny. Thanks, Karen. Lovely Cheers. to see you. Now, that's all we've got time for today. Tomorrow, I'll be chatting to new girl group Neon Jungle and Sherlock star Andrew Scott tells me all about his latest movie role. Have yourself a lovely day. Take care. Brilliant.